Hey internet friends, um, so this is going to be my trial run for um, doing kind of like weekly videos talking about, you know, the episodes we've seen and and all that stuff that I mentioned in previous episodes, um, possibly trying this out. Um, every like weekend, you know, Saturday or Sunday, me and Kevin would like go out to breakfast and just talk about the shows that we watch, like all of them, um, I think the people at the breakfast places that we've frequented, frequented, they like thought we were crazy because we were like talking about, you know, like Rick Grimes shooting people and yeah, it was just <laughs> like every, every Saturday morning we were just like there with our coffee, but um, I can't do that with him anymore, so guess what? I'm gonna do that with you. I'm gonna try out these videos. I was going to combine all of the um, the shows into one video because it makes it easier for me. However, um, I just realized that like if somebody's not caught up on one show and like the whole point of these videos is to get the comment section going and us to kind of have discussions about theories and stuff like that, like so many spoilers are gonna be posted, so I guess I have to, I don't know, we'll see. This is a complete trial run. Um, but yeah, so this is, I'm going to talk about uh, Walking Dead this time, and um, I'll probably do another video talking about agents. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to try to do these every week. Maybe I won't do them every week. I don't know. It's going to depend on... Um, how busy I am and, you know, how how much I have to talk about the episode. Um, I'm also, if any of you really do care about what I think about anything, um, I will leave my blog link um, in the description and then you guys can, like, um, it's much more in-depth. And this last Walking Dead premiere, I wrote so much... They're normally not that long, forewarning, when you get there and it's like pages and pages, you're just gonna be like, I don't want to read that, but, um, I had a lot to say, so, um, so let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how much I love Eugene. Oh my god, I love him. Um, I think you guys got that from the reaction, those of you who watched that, um, I liked him a lot at the end of the last season. I think Josh McDermott brings a certain amount of charm to Eugene that I don't think was really there in the comics. By the way, uh, disclaimer, I've read the comics. I'm going to try to not talk about spoilers from the comics, though, for those of you, because um, I, I know it doesn't always follow, but sometimes it does, whatever. I'm going to try to not talk about that um, too much in these videos, so I'm just going to kind of just leave that be. Um, but just for comparison, I think Eugene in the show is way better than Eugene in the comics. Um, yeah, I just think he's got, he's really funny, and they gave him such great moments in this episode, um, which unfortunately makes me think that they might kill him off soon, because I feel like they're trying to get us to like him. You've done this to me way too many times, Walking Dead writers. I don't appreciate it. So the next thing I kind of wanted to bring up was um because there's been kind of a little bit of discussion and like forums and stuff on the internet of um whether or not carol's disguise is a good thing or a bad thing um for everyone first of all i think she is about to go down in alexandria so i think it's really not going to matter too much anymore but let's pretend it does you know um what do you guys think do you think that uh Carol should be, or should she have come clean at some point? You know, we're trying to get these people, we, like I'm fucking on the show, whatever. Um, Rick's group is trying to get, like, these people to uh, trust them, and, uh, and there's these lies. Um, I think it's interesting that Morgan, like, knows what's up, but I also think... I think she should, like, it's a good thing that she did it because, I mean, she wasn't there at the time, but somebody literally tried to, like, 
kill Rick? Or like he was saying, like Carter was all like, hey, what's up? I want to shoot Rick in the head. Or, I mean, that's not exactly what he said, but that's what he said. And, you know, she wasn't there or whatever, but you know, if she was, though, just look at the flowers time, you know what I'm saying? So the next thing that I want to talk about is uh, possibly a spoiler, possibly not. A lot of people are thinking this in the, on the internet. It's the first thing that leapt to my mind when I saw that particular scene. So if you do not want spoilers or you do not want any of that stuff, you know, you don't, like, predictions that could possibly become spoilers, uh, just click off, whatever, click off, all right, and, um, I think Maggie's pregnant, um, I, a lot of people think it, it's not just me, I think, um, it was just that scene where they were kind of picking who was gonna go out and help with Rick's plan, and, uh, Glenn was like, I would kind of want you to stay here, babe. That's not what he said, but in my mind, that's what he said. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I think she's possibly pregnant. I also think that her and Glenn are going to get separated. Again. <laughs> um, I thought that when I watched the trailer and there was just like a, there was just like a brief scene where, like, Aaron and Maggie were, like, together, but they look like they've been through hell, and they look like they're going through, like, a tunnel or something, and I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, no. Glenn and Maggie are gonna get separated again. Don't ask me why I thought that. That's the first thing that came to my mind, and, um, it might add a little extra something if she's pregnant. Um, so, if that is the case, Aaron, Take care of Maggie for Glenn. Okay, so moving on, one of the biggest things that um, my, this entire summer on my blog, all of the posts leading up to the season six premiere, I was like pretty adamant about saying that there really wasn't going to be a Rick versus Morgan this season. Like they tried to play up so much in the trailer. Um, not that I don't think that they'll ever have conflict, and I, I just absolutely loved the first episode between the two of them. There were so many little nuances of um, just like quotes that they said that really, really stuck with you. And I go into it in my blog, but I'm really not going to go that in depth with it. But I, I loved it. I think that they know each other better than they think they do. And I loved at the end where um, Rick killed Carter. Um, I loved that uh, Michonne and Morgan seemed like, to me, seemed kind of like, you know, a little taken aback, but at the same time, they were just like, I know that this is how the world is. And I think basically they're saying like, I get it. I get it. We have to do these things to survive, but it doesn't make it any easier to watch it. And I think Michonne and Morgan are on the same page um, when it comes to that. So... Hmm. I think it's going to be interesting. I think if Rick continues to listen to people like Morgan and Glenn and Daryl and Michelle, like those people, he's going to stay grounded. And he has to do these things. And in his mind, I think he has to, you know, like, somebody had to shoot Pete. Somebody had to kill Carter. And he's kind of putting that weight on his shoulders so people, other people maybe don't have to do those terrible things. Um, I think the only person who's really going to understand that is Carol and uh, Carol. Um, I love Carol and Rick's relationship. And that doesn't... I, I would disclaimer, that doesn't mean I ship them or anything. I love how they are together, I think they understand each other more than a lot of other characters understand each other on the show. So, um, I would like to see a little more of that kind of develop and just see more of them, um, possibly. I, I really want to see Carol open up to somebody about the Grove really bad, and it didn't happen last season. Um, and I know the top pick for most people would be for her to open up to Daryl because they have that super close connection, but... I wouldn't mind if it was Rick and they kind of bonded over it. I think that that would be really, like, really 
sweet and possibly heart-wrenching scene, but um, yeah, I would kind of like that. So the part of the episode that I think I'm going to end on is probably something that other people may have overlooked a little bit or just didn't care about as much, but I loved it. And I didn't really notice it too much of how they really played this relationship out in this episode until the end, and that was Sasha and Abraham. Absolutely loved it. Um, I had to watch it again to really, like, get, in my mind, what they were trying to accomplish. Um, again, I could be wrong, and many of you could interpret this way differently. Um, I think Sasha, especially at the end of season five, where she laid in, in with all of the dead bodies, and then she went to Father Gabriel for guidance, and that didn't go very well for her because he's in tool bag, but, um, that she, I think she so desperately wants to live. She wants to live. She just doesn't know how to do it yet. Does that make sense? Um, and I think Abraham's been there, you know, like his whole family got slaughtered and, um, he, you know, there was, there was a quote and I'm gonna, not going to quote it exactly correctly, but where Sasha said, um, you know, like doing this, like doing this plan, like Rick's plan, that's living. And it just like clicked in my mind and I was like, that's exactly what Abraham did. His family got killed and terrible. And then Eugene came and gave him a purpose, gave him, you know, helping all of these other people is going to be a reason to live. And Sasha, I think, so desperately wants to live. And I think that flashback scene at the end of the episode where Abraham was like, are you doing this because you want to die? And she kind of just laughs and walks away or like smiles and walks away. She's doing it because she wants to live. She She's not there yet where she feels like, I think, um, feels like life is worth it. You know, she's, she lost the most in the last season, in, in my opinion. You know, she lost the man that she loved, and she lost her brother, and, you know, it's just, she's a little, <laughs> she needs to kind of go through her emotions, and I think Abraham's been there. Um, so, to me, I really thought that, um, I really loved that relationship, and um, The Walking Dead has a knack of putting two characters together that you never thought would, like, sp spend a whole lot of time together or create such a strong bond and making them really kind of um, very close in a lot of ways. And they, I felt like they did that with Sasha and Abraham in this episode. So moving on to what's going on next week, I definitely think the wolves are in Alexandria. I think... Uh, the, some alarm got set off, I'm assuming, by the wolves. Um, maybe they watched and saw the walker horde and figured it's a good opportunity. Um, I think Carol's about to do some damage. <laughs> I think um, Maggie as well. Maggie, oh, let's see. Okay, so Maggie's there, Carol's there. Um, Eugene, Rosita's there. That's good. Tara. I think she's okay at this point, right? Is that it? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I mean, there's all the Alexandrians, but like, who cares? Oh, Carl with a shot. Yeah, I'm into it. So, um, yeah, Carl, just send Carl and Rosita out. It'll be fine. Um, <laughs> no, but I think, um, it's going to be interesting and we're going to see more of what happened inside of Alexandria to set off that alarm. And then, um, yeah, it's about to get real, and uh, it's, it's a little scary, but I'm definitely really excited for the next episode. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, you enjoyed this video, if you, you know, you'd know you like me to keep doing them, or not. It's, a, it's okay. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of you know, do whatever you guys want. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend, um, and I will see you in my next Walking Dead reaction. Bye!